The New England Baptist Hospital has been an important part of my life. In fact, I was born there on three extension. The miracle named Tenley Albright was raised in Newton, Massachusetts by her mother, Elin, and father, Dr. Hollis Albright. Encouraged by her father, she started skating at age six, and when she was nine, she could cut figure eights. But then came the biggest challenge of Tenley's life. In 1946, she was diagnosed with polio. Fortunately, she did not suffer paralysis, but the disease had weakened her, and doctors suggested exercise in order to strengthen her body. I remember going back to the ice rink the first time and going, holding on to the barrier step by step, and then working out. It made me appreciate my muscles to have had polio. So she skated and skated. The Skating Club of Boston became her second home, and she kept winning and winning. Multiple major championships, including the Olympic silver at age 16, and after becoming the first American woman skater to win the world title in 1953, she received a hero's welcome. World figure skating queen Tenley Albright returns from Switzerland, where she became the first American girl ever to skate to that coveted title. While training intensely and keeping up with her rigorous pre-med studies at Radcliffe, Tenley was confronted with another huge challenge as she prepared for the 56 Olympics in Italy. I was going very fast backwards and my foot got stuck in a rut and I went flying and my one foot flew up in the air and the heel of my blade came down and hit the other foot and cut it through the boot and right to the bone. Dr. Hollis Albright came to his daughter's aid. When he came over, he managed to strap it in such a way that it wasn't pulling on the cut. Even so, Tenley had no idea if she could perform her routine right up to the ultimate moment. I had to do a lot of mental work that time to say, okay, I don't know how I'll get off the ice, but I know I'll get through my program. Almost miraculously, Tenley overcame her injury, and she became the first American woman figure skater to win gold. Tenley was an international star and received many offers to skate professionally. But Tenley's dream was to follow in her father's footsteps and become a surgeon. She was one of the first women to graduate from Harvard Medical School, and she became the first female surgeon at the Baptist, working side by side with her father and brother Niall. And I remember always thinking how exciting it was that the first three names on that board were Hollis Albright, Niall Albright, and Tenley Albright. Now Tenley had a new set of challenges to deal with, a career as a surgeon and raising a family. Well, Tenley paved uh, the road for a lot of young women. And by the time I got into medical school, I was in a much larger school, but we had over 50 women in our medical school class. I view Dr. Albright as the ultimate pioneer on and off the ice. When you can influence and empower women for generations, that in itself is amazing. I didn't understand sexism at all because in my world it was the woman who was saving lives, winning championships. Tenley is just a fantastic physician and a fantastic person. Always had really enthusiasm about everything she did. And she's a great teacher. She cares a lot about patients. She's very respectful. My mother always stressed the importance of patient contact and patient care. She really believed in the human connection, helping, healing. She was an Olympic athlete, a gold medal winner. You would never know it to talk to her. In many ways, a clone of her father when it came to how she cared for patients. Tenley was a master multitasker, making fun time on the ice for her daughters and bringing them to the hospital when need be. She would take us on rounds with her from time to time and just trying to keep up with her um, as she would walk in her high-heeled shoes down those tunnel hallways to get to the next patient. I just remember thinking, like, how can she be so fast? After 23 years, Tenley retired from the Baptist, but her career was far from over. She is a lecturer, mentor, and innovator and founding director of the MIT Collaborative Initiatives. She's so focused on the thrill of innovation and thinking what it is that she can impart or bring from other aspects of her life, that that's what really shines through. 
When the Skating Club of Boston's brand new facility was opened, Tenley received a most deserving honor. Skating in the Tenley Albright Performance Center and seeing my mom's photograph up on the wall and seeing her smiling down at us on the rink, it's just such an incredible feeling. Tenley has had many firsts in her careers. Now comes another from her family at New England Baptist. The legacy of the Albrights is the same as the legacy of the hospital. Uh, a tradition of compassionate, dedicated, individualized patient care. It is the confluence of her uh, life and her practice here at the Baptist that makes her the perfect uh, first awardee of the Presidential Medal. Congratulations, Tenley, and thanks for bringing all of us together again.